What up, lads? Let's make pavlova. Let's go through, guys, for everything we're gonna need for to make the pavlova, right? So we're gonna need the, the chickpea water from the can on room temperature. So the way you buy it in the supermarket is the way you're gonna use it here. I here I have the water from one can, so it's around 200 milliliters. We're gonna need some coconut yogurt, coconut cream. So I found the one, this one here, and it's beautiful to work with it. It's really nice. We're gonna need maple syrup, we're gonna need chocolate and mint for garnish, we're gonna need vanilla essence, some good berries, so strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, and of course sugar. Alright, so here I have it. We're gonna do we're gonna put our chickpea water in. Now we close it. We turn on and we wait. I don't know how to recommend you guys to do this by hand because it usually takes longer than never like whipping eggs so egg whites. As you guys can see, it's double in size already. So what I'm gonna do, but it's not ready. We're gonna start pouring the sugar in it. Slowly, slowly, so we have everything dissolved on this beautiful mixture, right? So let's go. Let's open guys and see in which stage are we. I'm telling you now it's been not even five minutes that we've been whisking this. All the sugar is in there. And we are starting to form the peaks. Still think we need more, so let's do for another good minutes. Another five minutes, let's check again. Oops, I think now it's good. You can see from the lid here. It's beautiful! My god! Let's do the real test. That's for real. Ha ha ha. to you guys that I was afraid to do that, but it was necessary. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this on a piping bag, and then I have here my seal pot. If you don't have one at home, just use the baking paper, which I have here as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna use them as rulers, all right? So I have here my piping bag, which is reusable by the way, and this is the tip. So I'm gonna use a very small one. So you can see here in comparison to my finger, how small it is. Why? Because I know if we use bigger holes for the tip, you're gonna take too long to dry it and we get a, a good chance of getting a chewy meringue inside. So I don't want that, I want them to be very crunchy and dry. It's 
so beautiful, so firm. When you first say to people that you can do a meringue with chickpea water, they won't believe you. But yes, you can. So here we have guys, all this beauty aligned. The oven was preheating at 130 degrees Celsius. I tried to be an artist in here, doing some hearts. Yeah, they don't look good, Jesus. These ones are gonna be nice. Very good. Now we can sit watch a movie because we're gonna bake this for one hour and a half so basically we are dehydrating this beauty thank god i have my recipe on my phone because i was forgetting already while the meringue is on the oven what we're gonna do our coconut cream so i have here my whipping coconut you see the water we're gonna strain it so drain out the coconut water we don't want that i only want this cream we're gonna add this cream to the bowl. We're gonna add maple syrup to this mixture. Vanilla essence. And the coconut yogurt. And now we're gonna mix and incorporate all together. And once very well mixed, we keep this mixture in the fridge, okay? Taste. Perfect. All right, guys, so it's been one hour and a half, babies are there, the hearts, they look more like broken hearts, I don't know what happened, but I will discover, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the oven off, we're gonna use this cloth here, we're gonna open the door, put this in here, and we're gonna leave the door like that, half open, and we're gonna allow it to cool down inside the oven, right? This process is important to finish to dry everything up. So let it cool down now as long as it needs. Everything cooled down already for our pavlovas. Pavlovas. And one thing, you see this one here that I did too thin? It is crunchy. All right. It's delicious. But. Because I made it too thin, when I was taking out from the seal pot, everything starts to break. So you need to be very, very delicate at this part of the process, okay? I'll try not to break these ones because they are perfect. So as you can see, the thickness, do at least this thick, all right? Try to hold both here too, for you to see the difference. See, that is almost double the size. Let's say around like one centimeter is perfect. At the least it's crunchy. Have my berries. The other side, my chocolate, mint. Here, I have my sieve with icing sugar. And for the last, my coconut cream that was in the fridge. See how firm it is now? For this to not be walking around, what I'm gonna do? Some glue on the board. Perfect. So we have a base. Let me show you the details. Very tiny. So I put in some berries, cream, berries, cream. A little bit more of cream on the top because now we're gonna 
where's the second part in here? Second one, placing the top, gonna put more a few berries on the top. You need to be delicate because it's a very delicate dessert. Tiny dot, tiny dot, tiny dot, one more dot, one more. Now we get the chocolate, microplane. Icing sugar. Ah, it's beautiful. Now we finish with some mint leaves. Very tiny ones. That's it. Moment of truth now. Now, I don't want to do this. But we need to try. Let's get out together. Some ring, some fruit, and my cream. Holy Jesus! Holy crap! This is amazing! Jesus! I'm gonna eat all. Yeah. This is the leftover. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked this video, if you have any doubts just write down in the comments below, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one! If you guys want to have access to all the recipes I'm showing here, just go to my website, get your vegan ebook and you have everything on your hand like that. Description of the recipes, ingredients, pictures, everything on the palm of your hand. Easy, easy cooking.